Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to download some stock data from Yahoo Finance and also how to compute some basic statistics for this, such as the average returns, the variance of the return and standard deviation of the returns. So let's take Google, G-O-O-G-L and go to historic prices. And let's take uh, the prices for the last one year, December 30th of 2013 to December 30th of 2014 and get prices. I'm choosing daily prices. So these are all the daily prices here. You scroll down and you can download this to a spreadsheet. You can then open this uh, file in uh, Excel and here is the data. And I would also go ahead and save this as uh, Excel file. Instead of comma separated, click Excel workbook and you can change this name here to something else stock return statistics or some other suitable name so let's take a look at the data here so you have here the dates of the returns the opening stock price the highest stock price for this particular date the lowest stock price the closing stock price and the volume of stocks traded on that day and the adjusted close now the adjusted close is accounting for any um, dividends that were paid by the company or any stock splits and so on so we just take the adjusted close as the adjusted stock price for google on any particular day freeze these panes i'll freeze these panes so that i can sc scroll all the way down and still be able to see the headings and the dates so the next thing to do is to compute returns uh, the stock returns simply are uh, today's price divided by yesterday's price minus one. So you can also put a parenthesis here if you want for clarity. It's not strictly required, but if you do this, it'll give you um, the stock returns. You could also represent this as a percent if you want. So that's how you compute this and you can just double click on this pull handle here to copy this formula all the way down. Now on December 30th of 2013, you see a div sign. That's because there is no stock price on the previous day provided for us. And uh, we could um, just optionally delete this. So for now, or we could just get hold of the previous day's price and compute the return. Let's just delete it for now. So it won't make much of a difference. The first statistics statistic we want to compute is the average return right so the average return is simply computed using average function in excel and you supply it all the numbers starting from the cell h2 to shift end down arrow that's shift end down arrow press all of them together in that sequence and close the parenthesis and that will give you the average return for google stock average daily return for Google stock over the last one year. And that's about negative 0.0041%. So we now compute the variance of the daily returns. Variance of daily returns represents the extent to which the daily returns varied with respect to the average. So if there is high variance, that means there was a lot of divergence from this average stock price on a daily basis. That means on some days, the stock returns were very high. The some days stock returns were very negative, very low and so on. So let's compute that and using the formula VARP, then parenthesis, and you just select all these returns here. So that is a variance and you can also increase the size here a little bit to accommodate more decimal points. And the standard deviation. Standard deviation is uh, basically the square root of the variance. I will explain to you the difference between the two in a, in a bit. So that's your standard deviation for the returns.